I've like got over a thousand subscribers just since like December. So we're just just since we're just going to happen. So it's been awesome. And the people writing to me are just like pouring their hearts out and I have all these great people now. Um, trying to transition from a hobby blogger to business blogger. At the time, my goal was just to make fun money, just to be able to pay for my daughter's dance, to be able to go on vacation, to pay for homeschool stuff, that kind of stuff. Little did I know, I was going to become a single mom and my business was going to be my income. So this blog is now my full-time job. It is my source of income. It is what is allowing me to continue to stay home um, after a divorce and pay my bills. And I couldn't do it without these ladies and what they're teaching in their group. Both awesome. Everything has been really great so far, but I'm going to go with landing pages um, because I thought that I kind of knew that already. And so when you were starting with that, I wasn't sure how much I was going to get out of it. And <laughs> because you've done an SEO course before. Yes, so, I right? did. Mm -hmm. we I did. Yeah. So I just, um, it was almost like not just relearning it, but seeing it through because I had more experience now. And so I'm looking at it again and I, I oh my gosh, all these things I missed. You know, Kelly yeah. was asking me, where's your post about this? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I have a post you are a blogger, and I asked you before saying this because I don't want to um, make you uncomfortable, but Corinne is a blogger who is already maintaining 1.3 or 1, how many million page views in 30 days? Like, I just hit, I'm at just over 1,100,000 something Okay, um, so for the past 30 days. Here is a blogger, and you've been over 700,000 page views for a long time. Like, this didn't, this is, you got it going on, okay? Let's just uh, say that. January is a good month for me, I will say that, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, instant hot, yeah. yeah. Yes. So. And your kindness yeah. stuff, because people decide in January that they're going to start doing nice things. I can yeah. see you. November, I can see January December, January. well for that, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. For sure. So, Corinne is already successful. She is a blog. How long have you been blogging? Um, I just had my six year anniversary. Okay. Yeah, happy anniversary. She's been doing this for a while. She's got it going on. She understands what she's doing. Why did you still join the Influencer Society with the success that you have? So a couple of reasons. And you guys know when I joined, I did the, I just signed up for one month. I wasn't willing to commit yet because I was going to try you, right? <laughs> You know, I love you guys. And I love you, know, you. Like you have everything we've ever made. Uh, so yeah, I, I love you guys. I have your products. Um, I know you're, you know, I, I know how you operate. And I had already had success with it. So I was <laughs> I didn't know what more I was going to learn. So I came in on a one month membership. And you guys know, because I think I was the one that started the riot in the group. I'm joking, right, it wasn't like a riot, but um, yeah, begging for you to open it up so that we could get the one year. So I Save that two months because I knew really quickly that that was what I should have done from the jump. Um, and this is why, um, and this is what, no matter what level of blogging you're at, <laughs> to me, Influencer Society is a steal because I've been at Preschool Planet and I've been uh, blogging was a website and I've had that since 2010, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's been about, I'm on nine years now. Well, like started, I started building it in 2009, so, but it didn't go live until 2010. Um, and I've been, you know, stalking you two and your learn to blog stuff for years, but, but I didn't think it applied because mine's not a typical blog. It's just a website. But once I heard you guys on learn to blog back in the Google Hangout days, I'm like, oh, maybe this does apply. So I've taken like Skyrocket um, in those courses of yours. And then I joined Influencer Society. I missed when you first opened. Uh, Poor Kelly. I was like, Kelly, how do I do? I missed it. I missed it. I was in college. Mm -hmm. And I've joined a lot of them. And I'll, honestly, this is one of the best groups I've ever, ever joined because everyone in there, like you said, nobody. Hey, I thought you still worked full time as a nurse. She is a nurse. Um, <laughs> however, she has come home to be a stay at home mom with her kiddos and to run her online influencing business. But we are all 
enablers of her taco addiction. I, <laughs> I, love, and I love Kimberly Star too. We all give her such a hard time. Taco Wednesday, that's right. That's what we're having here. Okay, so Kimberly Star, um, I have got, we've gotten to meet her in person. We met her in Florida at BLU. That was such an awesome surprise. But she is part of our influencer society. And I want you to tell us, Kimberly, what has been the most impactful thing that you've learned so far that everybody, I keep asking everybody and they all say, but I have so many favorite months. Cause if you guys, if you don't know, we focus on a different topic each month. So one month was SEO landing pages. One month was Pinterest right now it's organization. So what has been your favorite or the, the month that has helped you move your business forward the most? All of them. Um, no, all of them. <laughs> she's so decisive. No, I, so I went back and I looked through my data and I was just looking at it and I was just blown away because every month, like I can look at it and I look at the data and as I see it, it's like, Oh, here's when I implemented the Pinterest step. Here's a jump, you know? And then in when we did landing pages and I started putting those in and like, Oh, here's another jump. Yep. And I know I'm getting them all out of order, but, um, no, we're fine. And then Kelly was mentioning too that, um, like, so this month we've been talking about productivity and processes and stuff. Today, despite nap time only being about an hour long when normally it's two hours and that's when I work, I managed to write five blog posts using the stuff that Sarah taught. Uh huh. Yeah. What? <laughs> Crystal's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, these aren't short blog posts either. They're, you know. Right. They're blog posts. Yeah. What Sarah shared, guys, if you're not in the Influencer Society, I just feel so bad for you right now that you don't know what we're talking about. Um, but I like one of those mean girls. Oh, uh -huh, you're left out. No, no. we're not mean girls. Oh, it's Wednesday. We should have worn pink. We should have worn pink. I seriously told, I talked to my VA today and I was like, um, I think that block scheduling, batch working can work for everybody. Like, I, I just, yes, it is thebomb.com plus a bag of chips and a taco <laughs> two tacos <laughs> it is so awesome i'm so glad that I don't you know, I think. were able to do that I, I love our influencer family i learned so much and feel so supported by everyone that is so awesome it is so so true so do you okay so you do or you don't have a favorite month well, well favorite implies emotion we're not going off of emotion we're going off of stats which month has been able to help you move your business forward the most. She just said she wrote five blog posts in like an hour today. So, so which one do you think? So we're going with that. Okay. So uh, traffic wise, Pinterest month did the best yeah. because holy it's cow. Such like, an immediate, it was such an immediate, um, immediate boost. Results. I mean, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, my blog is still, I mean, I had a different blog before, but it was awful. And so I nuked it. <laughs> <laughs> you did what? She nuked it. I blew it up. <laughs> All right. We're going to get booted off Facebook. We can't say that. No, just <laughs> it's gone. But um, Kimberly, what, anything else that you want to let people know about the influencers and shift change in a process? They're like, it does. is this blog about throwing toys or is this blog about raising children? Yeah. That's so smart. So oh, good. Fine. But I don't want to do fine. I want to be amazing. You know, I want to have an incredible business. 